Hey guys, Nakul this side from Skills IELTS. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the modules in IELTS reading called matching heading. And I'll also talk about the solution in the easiest way possible using a technique called JOT. Stay tuned till the end. So let's quickly start off. Let's understand the task. You will be given a paragraph, in fact, multiple paragraphs and some headings. You have to choose the heading that matches the best for each of the paragraphs. Well, the constraint is the time and today I will show you as to how to do it in a very less time possible. Let's understand the basics. Heading is usually a name that is given to an entire paragraph. Just the way I have named this video as IELTS reading matching heading. So basically a one line heading is going to describe the summary of the entire paragraph. And if you take a paragraph, usually the first line going to be the introduction and the last line going to be the conclusion or something that sums up the entire paragraph. Since we are not dealing with the intricacies of each and every line of the paragraph, rather we are dealing only with the heading, you are supposed to read only the first line and the last line if possible and not the lines that are in between. Let's also talk about the problems people face whenever there are two options that closely resemble the heading of the paragraph. In such cases, elimination becomes quite difficult. So how to deal in such cases, let's quickly understand. Let's say the paragraph is something like this. Mobile technology has advanced to its pinnacle that any work that was impossible before can be easily performed with the use of mobile. For example, to communicate with a distant person was really a Herculean task in the past compared to what is happening right now. No one ever thought that things would become this simple, that you do not have to step out of the house to a post office and write a letter and post it and wait for the reply for a month's time just to communicate. You just have to pick up your phone and call up the person you want to talk to. So let's say the options that are given for the matching heading is the advancements in technology, the impossible is made now possible. So let's stick to the rules. The rule says read the first and the last line. The first line says mobile technology has advanced to its pinnacle that any work that was impossible before can be easily performed with the use of mobile. Well, it is matching advancements in technology and it is matching the impossible is made possible now. So how to do it in such cases? Let's rely on the context. The context is very, very important. Let's try to understand, are they really talking about the advancements in technology? So what exactly an advancements in technology is all about? There is a technology and it has made some advancements, isn't it? Let's say um, the artificial intelligence technology, it was not you know, working uh, you know, quite efficiently, but now there is a progression is now working quite efficiently because this was done, that was done. So that is the advancement. Are they really talking about those advancements in the paragraph? Well, I don't think so. All they're talking about something which was thought really a Herculean task, something that was thought really impossible is now made possible. So in such cases, you really have to go with the context and understand are they really talking about the advancements in the technology in detail, that the name for the entire paragraph can be given as advancement in technology, or you decide that advancements is not being talked about just what is, I mean, just what was impossible before, and now what is made possible has been talked about. So elimination method, you have to rely on the context and then give in certain cases. So before we take up one example and you know solve things using JOT technique, let me also tell you in brief as to what JOT stands for. JOT is nothing but just only two lines. So you're gonna read only the first and the last line like I've already explained and not any other line. Believe me on this, you can easily get the answer you know, in a very quick way possible. So let's quickly start off. So let's assume these are the options for the matching heading that is given. For simplicity's sake, I've just divided into two columns here and the paragraphs are below. I've just divided the paragraphs into multiple segments um, so that we can, you know, we can go in steps. All right, so let's apply the JOT technique which says just only two lines, uh, read the first line. Between 2013 and 2014, hype around indoor tracking built up. Okay, big name retailers like blah, 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 were rushing to get consumers apps out. Now the topic is getting relevant again. At the latest Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, players like presented some new solutions to the field. Between 2013 and 2018, hype around indoor tracking built up. Something that hype had been built up. Okay, let's try to match. Kindly understand, you're not gonna read it again and again and again and again and again. You're just gonna read it once, but when you read it, you try to get a visualization and don't forget it. So let's take up the first example. 
what is indoor tracking and maps this talks about the definition of indoor tracking and maps several techniques for indoor tracking and maps but real standards are missing okay they're talking about so many technologies that exist for indoor tracking but the real standard is actually missing the third talks about so many difficulties myriad difficulties for the construction of indoor maps the drawbacks the disadvantages challenges of the technology what technology is not mentioned the concern some concern of no universal protocol the boom that it created in the past okay did we just see this the boom that it created in the past the boom that created hype around the boom that created okay this could be one of the options this could be one of the options that can be given this name for the first paragraph well let's continue talk you know checking the rest the history that was always remembered yes we are talking about the history but that's always remembered hype is built up the boom that it created in the past i think history is ruled out why into tracking it's a better accuracy the first line and the last line they haven't talked about accuracy varied technologies that assist they did not talk about the problems i think by now we are pretty much sure we have read all the options we are uh, you know at the same time aware of the number of options that exist and the answer is the history sorry the boom that it created in the past for this one and this is eliminated i'm pretty much sure this is G. So let's talk about the second paragraph. Let's stick to our GOT technique which says just only two lines. Indoor tracking involves detecting and accurate location of a mobile device indoors. Indoor maps on the other hand involves creating maps of indoor locations for any array of different. This is similar to what maps we have for outdoor. Some people read the next line okay the challenge is having a difficulty that provides sufficient accuracy. Okay, they do this and they try to match indoor tracking in was detecting accurate location, the challenges, so they think challenges of technology, the myriad difficulties, accuracy is what being told here, so they go with why indoor tracking needs a better accuracy. So let's understand, are they really talking about accuracy? If the name accuracy has to be given, then the entire paragraph should talk about why it needs a better accuracy, isn't it? Just one word accuracy will not sum up the paragraph. So accuracy is ruled out, let's understand. Accuracy is ruled out, accuracy is not correct. Challenges of the technology, are they really talking about the challenges? How many times have they talked about the challenges? Only once. The getting those penetrate, this is the second line, if you see, it is giving a definition of what indoor tracking and what indoor maps is all about, the first line and the last line. I think the answer has to be what is indoor tracking and maps. So let's understand what exactly is happening there. They might have talked about the challenges and a lot more other things, but the entire paragraph is not talking, you know, is not concentrated or is not centered mainly about the challenges or, you know, the accuracy. It is centered about the definition because it is still the start of it. They, they're talking about the definition of indoor maps. So the answer has to be what is indoor tracking and maps. This is ruled out. All right, let's talk about the next paragraph. Indoor tracking is a field with unique challenges. It's a small line. Let's read outdoors. GPS is generally used for tracking local information. The last line, the since people in average spend more than half of their time indoors, a real need exists for an accurate indoor processing system. A real need exists. Accuracy matters. All right. While outdoors, a few meters is good enough. Indoors, every meter is significant, be it for navigation or targeted marketing. So if you closely understand, closely see it here, it's talking about the challenges, definitely, yes, that global system, position system is generally used for tracking location information. But the entire thing is concentrated at uh, the accuracy. If you see accuracy matters while outdoors. So you can also think about why indoor tracking needs a better accuracy. Well, it has talked about the challenges, challenges of the technology. So in such case, what you can do, you can read the rest of the paragraph, eliminate all, and then you can come back and check if the answer is I or if the answer is E. So let's do that as of now, the third paragraph, we have kept it aside. And once we finish all the paragraphs, we'll come back and check which one of them is the correct answer. Let's talk about the barrier number four. To address the technical challenges of the indoors, myriad technologies to address, they're not talking about the challenges, kindly understand, to address the challenges. So there you have to talk about the solutions. So the answer, challenges of the technology is wrong. The drawbacks of indoor maps is not making sense there. The myriad technologies have been developed and tested over the years. Don't just stop their comma is there. Yet the full fledged solution is not found. So what they're talking about is so many technologies have come up at we have not you know got the solution at right let's read the last line 
technically speaking, Bluetooth and Beacon technology, one of the technology are not positioning technologies, but rather relate to proximity. So they're talking about a lot of technologies and they also say solution has not been met. So this is what the paragraph, the first line, the last line says. So let's go and read it. Several technologies for indoor tracking and maps, but real standards are missing. Excellent. Myriad difficulties for the construction. No, they did not talk about the construction. Drawbacks, disadvantages, they did not say. Challenges, they would have talked about it, but to address the challenges is what the paragraph starts with. So challenges is ruled out. The concern of new protocol, they didn't say boom is done. The history is not there. Why indoor tracking needs a better accuracy? This is not talking about accuracy. Varied technologies. Okay, great. They talked about the varied technologies as well. We are not denying it. Varied technologies, myriad difficulties for the construction of indoor maps, several technologies. Okay, basically, very technologies that assist the indoor maps and several technologies for indoor tracking and maps, but real standards are missing. So if you observe closely, various technologies that assist the indoor problems, are they really talking about the technologies that could give you a solution or they talked about though there are a lot of technologies we are not able to get the solution the first line says at the full-fledged solution is not found so this is ruled out real standards are missing hope you're getting it how i'm eliminating so answer has to be b for the fourth paragraph all right let's continue the next paragraph the issue with all the technologies is the lack of a widely accepted standard as there is no clear winner technology many businesses push their own proprietary formula given the stage of technology innovation a standard starts to seem reachable now so all they're checking is one particular standard is required lack of widely accepted standards so entire paragraph has to talk about one particular standard this is ruled out, several technologies ruled out, material difficulties, they're not talking about difficulties, high disadvantages, challenges. No, the issue with all they would have told, but is a lack of this is the it is centered at. The concern of two universal protocol to abide by, yes. To issue the issue with all the technologies, the lack of a widely accepted standard, universal protocol to abide by a standard starts to seem. I think it's very clear. You don't have to read any of the lines. Answer is F for this particular paragraph. Hope it is clear. All right, so let's take the next paragraph. For indoor maps, technological challenges include, challenges that include challenges of the technology, all right. Capturing indoor specific data, applying that to different use cases and using or managing it. For an indoor map to be updated to accurately represent the current information, flexibility in components as well as the ability. There are a lot of things that has to be done. Are they, all they're talking about could be the challenges of the technology. Okay, are they talking about the challenges of the technology or are they talking about the myriad difficulties for the construction of indoor maps? So this is where the elimination technique comes into picture. For indoor maps, technological challenges, challenges include capturing indoor specific data, this, this, indoor maps can be used for simple, okay. For an indoor map to be updated, constructed, for indoor maps to be constructed, um, to accurately flexibility in the components as well so they're not talking about the challenges of the technology they rather they're talking about the problems which are present for the construction of indoor maps so be very very careful a lot of options closely resemble but the answer for this question is the myriad difficulties for the construction they're not talking about the challenges faced by the technologies rather they're talking about the difficulties for the construction of the indoor maps they closely resemble, but at the end of the day, you are the one who eliminates the options. So, all right, this is what the state we are at right now. We have finished all the six paragraphs and we have got one, two, three, four, five answer. The third paragraph, like I told you, we've come back. All we understood was challenges of the technology and why indoor tracking needs a better accuracy. We're just waiting. We're just actually waiting if one of the options gets eliminated. Uh, but unfortunately, um, the options didn't get eliminated. So let's understand again. Are they talking about the challenges of the technology or talking about better accuracy? The indoor tracking is a field with unique challenges. Outdoors, GPS is generally used for tracking location information, the basic blah, blah, blah. However, GPS doesn't work indoors. I'm just trying to read and eliminate. The last line, the measurement of using GPS doesn't provide. Yes, they're talking about the challenges, but if it was just a challenge, then they wouldn't have talked about the accuracy so it's very you know they very closely resemble uh, but challenges of the technology um, what technology is not particularly mentioned that's one of the aspects we need to consider and 
if you properly read it here, all they are trying to say is the global positioning system had a better accuracy. Uh, it doesn't work indoors, correct? Because the satellite signals are blocked by building structures. Since people in the average spend more than half of their time indoors, a real need exists for an accurate. So basically they're trying to bring up a real need is present for an accurate indoor positioning system. Well, they talked about the challenges, I'm not denying it, but it is ending with why indoor tracking needs a better accuracy doesn't provide the measurement of GPS doesn't provide an accurate result. So I think most of the things here as well, we're reading the first and the last few lines, not the first line we read. And from here, and we are just reading where the answer resides. So it doesn't provide an accurate result. We need a real need for accuracy. Accuracy matters. I think over the challenges of technology, I think we can go with why indoor tracking needs a better accuracy. So this has to be the answer for the third one. Well, that's it from this video. Uh, I really hope you like the video and um, if you need an online coaching, you can always check the information in the description. I'm going to see you soon with the next video as early as possible. Till then, take care. Thank you so much.